Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an ex, this time continuing on the episode of Suicide Squad that we had to cut off last time. As you guys know, I'm not allowed to do over an hour of uploads, so I have to split them into two pieces, and uh, I hope you guys are coming back from the last one. I really enjoyed the first half. It was a little different than what I expected, but I do think that it has its own unique flair and a lot of things that I feel like are more true to the comics. I feel like Waller is a lot more ruthless in this one, which is really in line with the character, uh, as well as just the deaths being a little more explicit. And, you know, there were a couple things such as the uh, comic titling in the environment stuff, which I, is kind of cheesy, but I really enjoy it because it is kind of a comic thing uh, that has been done in many comics. Not sure if it was done in any Suicide Squad comics, but that's besides the point. As always, guys, remember to support the original content creator because if we don't support them, they don't make more of this great content. And if they don't, then we don't get any more. And that's pretty simple. So it's pretty straightforward that we got to support the stuff we like. And I like this. So I wouldn't mind seeing another one done by James Gunn. Uh, my only real thing that's kind of throwing me off from the first half is uh, the music, which I expect to be pretty crazily good from a James Gunn movie. He usually has pretty excellent soundtracks. Is just not hitting it for me. I don't feel like it's as well composed, put together, like, I guess, or structured, because I don't know if they made in any or too many original songs for this. But that's besides the point. Uh, if you guys wanted to chat with me, as always, you can check out our Discord or, you know, comment below, and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Although, I'm not going to lie, YouTube's update on comic comments is not great. Like, they, they do not, they're not like, hey, they commented, it, come find it. It's like... It's rough. Sometimes it takes like weeks before a notification shows up and tells me I got a comment. Anyway, guys, we're going to get into this, and I'm hoping to see a lot more good stuff from Polka Dot Man, as well as some of the other minor characters that I don't know a lot about. I won't leave you too long, and I'll just say thanks again for watching, and let's get into it. He explained the joke to him. Fucking seriously. Once again, you'd have more luck trying to break a fucking coconut with an egg, honestly, than to get her to tell you jack shit. Thank you. Now, Swist. Hello. Did I mention that the uh, Joker toxin doesn't give her superhuman strength, but it does give her superhuman pain tolerance? I'm so sad and low. That is fucking cool. That would really fuck you up, by the way. Go get a gun, dummy. Like, see, this whole time... Oh, she's just gonna keep getting him. I should have just fell. Really? Should have just went, stopped, went and got a gun. That was a nice one. A little bit, a little bit of head bobbing there. The blood's all turned into flowers. That's funny. The javelin. They really love that blood splatter. Did you see how much blood the foot put out? This is an interesting decision. Jotunheim, nice one. That one was way better done. Did you see how it actually melds into the fucked up framework at the top? That is the best one so far. No question. Is he gonna get killed on the way in, right? And they gotta take his head or his eye with him? Oh, he's actually hiding real good. Go, go, Nanawe. 
he is absolutely the Groot of this movie. I don't care what anyone says. That that's that's who King Shark is in this, and I love him. I don't. Yeah, no. There we go. That looks way better. And I'm. I don't know why, but that shot did not look too good with them walking in the. Something's got to happen here. It's too chill. Okay, that was a good one. I gotta watch this over on the 4K TV. This time it's right. It's not in. We're having issues with hardware accelerators. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry for you. Yeah, <laughs> they're still smoking and eating. That's funny. Oh, yeah. I mean, a Humvee's cool, but it's just gonna go crunch against the store like that. A, a door. The, a steel reinforced door like that that thing looks I mean maybe I'm wrong though I often am so let me know if I'm wrong mean holy Jesus the bounce on those could break your neck man just ba-blam hit you back in the face snap that shit back <laughs> sorry I can't help myself that it really wasn't a crazy bounce though No, not wrong. But Starro is... Not that Starro should be tortured. I'm not saying that for all the Starro lovers. Oh, Jesus. Man, this guy does go a bit far, though. I was just saying that Starro isn't necessarily the nicest person anyway, but... Uh... Yeah, the dude ripped in half still going is crazy. And bloop on the wall. He's going to break it and release it, isn't he? You're going to kill Flag? Yep. Oh, I thought he would just shoot him. Look at his fucking gun. Damn, they did set him off too early. What happened? I'm confused. I'm confuzzled, baby. No, Sebastian. Sebastian. Uh, of course. They're just gonna rip him apart. Yeah. Oh, just the arms. Oh, and then the rest of him gets squished like a jelly sack. That's pretty accurate, though. I really like the, a lot of the physics they're using in this. Except for maybe like one or two shots. I find it funny that they both went for the drive. I would have used that piece of metal to stab him. That's what he should have done. This is not a bad shot, but they should, yeah, they should do more switching between the two. It looks alright, but they did before, too. Smack right off the wall, got him good with that pipe. You really fucked someone up with those, by the way, like, 
That's one part that's somewhat unrealistic. If you take a full bat, like, pipe to someone's head, you'd absolutely crush the bones with not as much effort as you'd think. Like, full swings to the head like that without, like, glancing side to sides is... Stab. Oh, he's dead. Should have stabbed him earlier, like I said. I don't know why you would go for the disc instead of the kill. Oh man, he killed you. Although his name is absolutely stupid for what he does. And she has the disc. He, he kicked it away like a dummy. One turn of her thing and he's fucked. He literally... There's not enough bullets in any gun in the world to stop all the rats. And Bloodsport. Eight minutes earlier, yep. Bloodsport's gonna show up. I don't know if he'll save her. Oh, does he see another part of Starro or just something else in here? It'd be funny if they showed him Orca. It'd be a cool tie into Injustice. Oh, hello, weird little thing. You're cute. Oh, and there's more of them. They're adorable. I'm gonna call them ploops. Cause they go ploop. They dance. How much you wanna bet they're dangerous? Oh, they make a version of him. I thought they did, but you know, now that they follow him, it's a lot easier to see. That was nice. Totally unneeded probably, but nice. Jesus Christ. That's fucked it. Oh, she never really got it. This is so funny. I like other. Oh no, the the explosives. I was gonna say that if that's meant to take out the building, I don't. Oh no, he's not gonna be happy. Or maybe he is, since there's water everywhere, and now he's really deadly. But he's a land shark. They are definitely going to be dangerous. They're like piranhas, yep. No, is that how we lose King Shark? That's really ironic and fucked up. I knew they would be, but you can always hope. They're dead. He might be able to survive that. No, I guess not, huh? Although he should. And... Is he getting up now? Their bullets weren't working, so... And he's already injured and angry.
I was gonna say, that's a big fall. Oh, he's just gonna fall layer by layer. You could live layer by layer, but he did a big fall to start with. And then he's gonna have to deal with everybody on the bottom floor when he gets down there. Yep. Smaller bullets. I'm glad they made him pull and didn't shoot her first because it would have put him at a disadvantage for the next shot. Still eating chunks off a dude's head. I like it because they're showing that he's not like crunching through it. He's like literally ch ch like shearing meat off of it. Not bad. Star of the Conqueror. What the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah, I d does not look to be effective at all. Oh, he can produce a lot of little Staros now out of like his armpits, which was really a gross little thing that they did. They did well. I mean, it's cool that it's gross, but. They fly. Look at them. Look at them. Fly like little bird flaps on their little wings. Don't don't keep your face open, buddy. This is why you wear a mask, boys and girls. <laughs> Smart. I can't get on. It's funny. So much for uh, whatever your plans are with this. Is he just going to shoot himself or is he getting starred? It's too big. Or tough. I like that they just flop around on the ground after a while. <laughs> Pokes it with this fucking spear. Yeah, not a good idea. I don't care. I don't know what you were thinking there, dude. Politicians usually aren't that stupid, but... Uh-oh, yep, here they come. That's pretty cool. I think they did Starro pretty well here. A little flamboyant, but still cool. To be fair, I think Starro was a bit flamboyant, even in the comics, so... Yep. Welcome to justice and liberty. Oh, God, that is so gross. It's also strikingly beautiful, but it's such a weird combo. Look at him with all those little cuts. <laughs> and bang, all the head bombs explode. She's also lost all of her other operatives, including the leader.
Nice hit, though. I like that they covered that and, like, actually somewhat covered it. She turned into Waller. <laughs> Just in her time of speech, obviously not her, uh, her feelings on the mission. We gotta lose at least one more member, right? Five's too many to come back. I felt that way about the last uh, movie, though, so could be that it's just the right number. He has such an interesting looking gun with that. Oh, it has attachments, that's how. He's <laughs> barely even noticing. Uh, they all ran off. Barely. No, don't. Why? Why? I was gonna say, uh, with the powers he's displayed, he's easily the most dangerous. Holy shit, he opened him up. They, I don't know why they chose to, they're all yelling. There we go. I want to see, it's like, yeah, here he is. He's dead. It's gonna smack him. Yep, yeah, I knew it was coming. It was, he's too powerful for one. If he keeps hitting the monster, it'll be fucking toast with that kind of power level if he cut off one of its legs what would be funny and what is probably going to happen is it's going to be Ratcatcher like in pure power output polka dot man was uh, the polka dot man was their number one but uh as far as like area suppression control stuff like that he's just going to kill them all oh they took a gun yep the rats man don't underestimate them against certain opponents because once again, it hasn't been shown that... Oh no, he's superhumanly tough against bullets at least. Not a bad voice actor there. You belong. The rats, baby. And in a city like this... Oh, yeah. But, yeah, they, they are, like, it's one of the reasons why Squirrel Girl was always rough for me, but, like, totally a possible fight for some characters. Said he doesn't have a high area of attack move that can actually destroy these guys, and, in fact, like, with the way his mass and stuff is, some of the crushing stuff wouldn't even work. It's kind of like when you crush a fly between your hand and it's still alive. It sits in the cracks in your hand and stays alive. And these guys would most likely be very similar on Starro's kind of porous body. They could get into his little openings and... Not bad. Not bad, alright? No clue what was special about that javelin. And then the rats can get in. This is such a weird fucking scene. Oh, look! Sebastian! Yep, they just start going to town. So his insides weren't as uh, tough as his outsides, apparently. That is a very interesting music scene to go with the... Yeah, it did cut his leg off. Uh, when Pokemon Man hit him. So yeah, that's why they had to kill him too. Because just go upwards and slice him right in half. There she comes crawling out. Yep. Oh, Poor Pokemon Man. He's the one I'll miss most. Him and Weasel. Oh, He's a smush. Oh, 
But how's this gonna play out? Yeah, it's like, who hit me over the head, motherfuckers? So silly. So what else? I knew they were gonna have to lose one more. Four is an acceptable number to walk out of a Suicide Squad run for. That's cute. Come on, man. Ah, I fucking knew it. All right, that's fine. His eyelids are a little off for me. But that was cool, man. That was pretty good. Um, there's not going to be an after scene. This is, oh, no. There it is. Weasel, he's alive, right? I knew it. Then he's going to die anyway to something else. I called that so early, by the way. I'm waiting. He has no idea what the fuck's going on. Is he just gonna run off into the... Okay, that's gonna be it. He just runs off into the forest. All right, um, okay. That was the after credit scene, I think. Okay. Oh, no, here it is. I knew there would be maybe one, but I, I honestly didn't know if it would go come true because DC. It's got to be Peacemaker, right? That's why I always go for a finishing set. Is this just like an ending from the studio? Yeah, this is like the studio's ending Atlas Entertainment. Not gonna lie, you shouldn't have put that there. It doesn't make me think very greatly of the company for whatever reason. Just saying. Um, I, I'm gonna try to keep it quick because our camera came and I don't want to be here talking forever after a two hour and 12 minute movie that was longer because my camera was having issues and my battery charger's fucked. So, I liked it. I thought it was really good. I'm not sure how like how I want to rank it because it had some things that were a bit off-putting to me, such as the music choices, which is so strange because usually I count on James Gunn having an excellent soundtrack, and I don't feel that way for this one, but it's just my opinion. Maybe you guys think differently. Let me know what you think in the comments about the soundtrack. Otherwise, I thought everything else was pretty cool. Um, once again, a lot of the deaths were somewhat expected. I guess Flags was a bit of a surprise, but not necessarily once Peacemaker, you know what I mean, pulled the gun, and it was then, because then you knew it was between, the tension was between Bloodsport and Peacemaker, which I felt like that fight could have been a little better too. Obviously, they still had to fight Starro, so they were pushing a lot in the movie, but 
I definitely would have liked to see a little more of a climactic battle than a one shot uh, through the bullet, which is cool, but it's kind of been done, right? And it's nice in this case just because it's a reference to earlier when they were talking about, well, I shoot through, through your bullet hole with smaller bullets. Don't hit the edges. You know, talking shit. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, there's a lot to talk about in this movie. I think they had some really interesting kind of artistic choices with the whole flower scene in Harley Quinn really love King Shark's character, which is essentially just kind of a Grudish character. And there was also something to be said about the addition of, like, Thinker and Starro into this kind of thing and pulling from characters kind of outside of the Suicide Squad's maybe general character list or villain list. So I think it was definitely cool. I think it was better structured as a story than the first one as far as, like, the mission and all these other things, right? I felt like it was a much better formulated story for this uh movie but you tell me what you guys think what did you think of this compared to the first suicide squad do you think they're going to try to do another one with the kind of setup they just had what what are your thoughts really on this movie let me know in the comments come chat with us in discord and as always support the original content creators over on hbo max or at your local movie theater and if you enjoyed watching with us like comment subscribe hit the bell and you know if we get some good reactions from this you know, and for, as far as likes and stuff, we'll try to do more movies. Maybe you guys can request some stuff that I haven't seen and I can go check it out. And yeah, I'm, I'm super excited, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. I'm Axel Grave. This has been Reactions with an X, The Suicide Squad, and I hope to see you next time.